Crazy Train Guy presents an Okanagan Valley Railway production. Another episode of How Did He Do That? In this how to video, I will show you how to program sound for your DCC locomotives. DCC programming can be daunting at times, especially for those new to DCC. In a previous video on using a sound meter to have uniform sound levels for your engines, I used this method. So click on that link if you want to see that video and go back for reference. I went over the programming fairly quickly and we'll go over it now in more detail in this segment. I will go over how I set the sound for Atlas, Bachman, Rapido and Walther's previously Pro 2000 engines. So let's get started. I will start with the easier engines and then move into the ones that are a bit more complicated to program. Before I get going, I will go over how I set up my Digitrax Zephyr for programming. In the first photo, I have set the mode to program, which shows on the display as PRGE. In the next picture, you can see the hookups for programming mode, which are easily identified on the back of the power system as PROG A and PROG B. My Bachman RS3 is quite easy to program. The engine did not come with an instruction manual showing the DCC settings, but I managed to find one on the internet, which can be seen in this photo. Now in the next zoom up shot, you can see uh, that I have circled the ones that we'll be focusing on. These sounds will be the horn, bell, and exhaust control. Okay, so first we'll start with the RS3, like I said. So I hit the program button, and now I'm hitting the CV button, as you can see. Okay, so hit CV, and I'm hitting CV1, 3, 1, which is the exhaust uh, sound. Okay, and then I push the CVRD, which is CV read, and the volume is showing as 65. Okay, so if I want to change it, I just hit 60 as I would do here, and then CVWR, now it's set to 60, but I don't want that. I had it at 65, so I'll just set it back to 65. Okay, now we're going to do the horn. So it's the exact same procedure. Okay, so this time it's CV129. Once again, I hit CVRD for read and the volume is showing 35. So this time I'm going to change it to 40. Push CVWR for right. But then I put it back to 35 once again, because that's where I had it. So for the horn, it's CV130. And the volume is 32. We'll just leave that one, so I think you get the picture. So the next engine will be my Rapido Trains FPA4. So in this case, um, you can set each and every sound. However, I have an older system, my Zephyr system, and the CV values for the individual sounds are settings I cannot reach those high numbers with my Zephyr. So in this case, I've had to kind of dummy it down and just set the master volume. So in my case, the Rapido Trains setting is relatively simple. But if you do have the capability to set higher CV settings, it's virtually almost the same as with the Bachman. As you can see, you just use the numbers that are set there. So we're going to focus on master volume at the top there. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, look up CV63 and push the read button. And I get a volume of 30. Okay, so then let's say I want to set to 40. I don't, so I'm going to reset, but in this case, I'm actually going to set back to 36. I'm going to set it a little bit louder than where it was. I didn't actually think it was loud enough last time. So in this case, I have actually adjusted the volume on my FPA4. Next up is my Atlas SD24. Now, this is one of the more complex ones, um, but it's not that hard once you figure it out. So I've highlighted here in this picture how it's done. So basically what it says is to change the volume of individual sounds listed in the table below, do the following. So first, you set CV49 to the primary index. Now the primary index is the sounds I have circled below, which is your, in this case, the horn, the bell, 
or the diesel engine. So you'd select one of those CV settings, going to hit CV49. So, and then you'd push that button and then you would get um, that one selected. So you'd select, say, uh, diesel engine is 10. Um, and then what you do is you hit CV52 and then you get the reading of what the sound is and then you would rate the sound. So it's an extra step, uh, multiple step as they call it, and then it was for, say, the Bachman or the Rapido. But I'll show you here in a sec just how simple it really is. Okay, so the first thing I do is I do exactly what I said. I so go CV49, and I'm going to get a read on it, and it's going to come up with number 10, which is the diesel engine. So that was the last one I must have said on this one. So now I'm going to go to CV52. There you go, CV52, hit the read, and the volume is set at 6. Now if I wanted to, I could change it, and here I change it to 5, and I push CV right, but I want it 6, so I put it back to 6. So next I can go in, once again you have to go back to CV49, okay, and it's going to come up as a diesel engine, but I want to do the horn. So I'm going to push 0, and I push CV right. So now CV49 is set at 0. I go put in the CV52, and the volume of the horn is at 8. Maybe I'll set it at 10, and right? Okay, but I don't, so I set it at 8. Finally, so i got to go, so CV0 for the bell. So now I'm going to set it to CV8, okay? And that's the horn, uh, sorry, the bell. CV52 is a volume of 8. Next up, and final, is the F7, which is a Proto 2000, or as I mentioned now, Walther's engine. And in this case, the uh, CV settings are identical to the Atlas. Now that may have changed as different companies buy different sound chips and that, but just check out the manuals that you have when you purchase your engine. So I'm not going to go in the same detail on this, but I will follow through step by step as I do it in the video. Um, but it's the same principle as CV49 and 52, and also the settings are the same. So diesel engine is 10, the bell is 8, and the horn is 0. So I start by once again going in CV49 and 10, which is again the diesel engine sound. So CV52 read and volume is five okay in this case i'm not going to bother saying it so i'm just going to go on and back to cv49 i'll come up with 10 so then i'm going to type in zero and push read so zero will give me the horn go to cv52 get the read the volume is five okay so once again back to cv49 read zero so I want the bell, which is 8, so I hit right, and then go in the CV52, and the volume is 10. So that concludes this video. I hope you found it very instructive and easy to follow, um, as my purpose here was to try and simplify the DCC process of programming sound, and the same process can uh, be used for other parts of DCC programming as well. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw and wish to see more content on model trains and real trains, please subscribe to my channel.